O'Hagan was, by the mid-twenties, well known. Well known as the author of the popular new Aussie song. But popular because he could sing and play the piano so very well. He could play and perform all the current hits of the day with real style, including the hits from the musical comedies. The fledgling Australian recording industry was keen to record him, and he was keen not to let an opportunity pass him by. My desert is waiting, dear, come there with me. I'm longing to teach you love the sweet melody. I'll sing a dream song to you, painting a picture for two. Blue heaven and you and I and sand kissing a moonlit sky a desert breeze whispering a lullaby only stars above you to see I love you oh give me that night divine and let my arms in yours entwine the desert song calling its voice and thralling will make you mine That night divine And let my arms in yours entwine The desert song calling Its voice and thralling Will make you mine The ever popular The Desert Song with Jack O'Hagan with instrumental accompaniment recorded in September of 1928. The Desert Song was a very big hit musical of the 20s. Another was Rio Rita, a musical where Australia's Gladys Moncrief, our Glad, made such a hit, both on stage and on records. Here Jack sings one of the so top songs, If You're In Love, Yule Waltz, interestingly, also recorded by Glad. If you're in love, you'll waltz. The waltz is but a dream. For the Love and simple vine You love and you'll forget your fault If you're in love, you'll walk Nothing more alluring, nothing so assuring Held in grip divine Like a sip of wine Moments so entrancing, you're in clouds above. You won't know you're dancing, it's the waltz of love. If you're in love, you'll want a waltz is but a dream for the Hold your arm in arms, a pair of smiling eyes 
If You're In Love, Your Waltz, from Rio Rita, and that was Jack O'Hagan, recorded in June of 1928. One of the biggest thrills that Jack O'Hagan received was when Richard Tauber, the greatly loved German tenor, recorded the song Mexican Serenade. The music was by De Liebs and the lyrics by Jack O'Hagan. Recorded in London in September 1932, Jack received a cable from his London publishers which read, Tauber just recorded Mexican Serenade, the first song he's ever sung in English. Repeat, first song he's ever sung in English. The recording became a number one seller. Mexican Serenade, recorded by Richard Tauber in September of 1932. Jack O'Hagan also recorded the Mexican Serenade, and it is interesting to compare his version with the version given by Tauber. Jack's rendition of the Mexican Serenade was made in 1928, four years before the Tauber effort. Magic night when stars were bright in sleepy Mexico. Leads to a memory lane. Where in fancy I hear again. Through the trees or a breeze, a 
arms of Mexican serenade. How it falls and enthralls me, my Mexican serenade. Once again, while stars shine, I am yours, you are mine. In a world of romance divine. Night of love, moon above, when you promised me you'd be true. Just a truth when we kissed, and our wonderful night was through. Though our love dreams have gone, memories still linger on. Of that night and the Mexican serenade. Mexican Serenade, recorded by Jack O'Hagan in 1928. Not everything went well for Jack O'Hagan. He certainly had his downs. The depression of the late twenties and the thirties destroyed a wonderful opportunity to further his career when the firm of Leo Feist, a top American musical concern, dropped their offer. Times were tight, even in the land of the free. Jack was disappointed, but not downhearted. He said, God knows where I might have gone. In Melbourne, we had our top musicians playing in the Royal Arcade in Burke Street with hats in front of them. It was pretty tough going for everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, for your approval, I will now sing, Carry On. When your blue just carry on, troubles are only bubbles that fade away. Smile and simply carry on, whether the smile or sorrow can ever stay. Even in the darkest hours, remember that night is followed by the dawn. Whenever you feel blue, here's all you've got to do. Carry on, carry on, carry on. Carry on, carry on, like the boys that won the war. Carry on, carry on, keep our banner to the fore. Carry on, carry on, let us give all gloom the air. Carry on, carry on, and advance Australia fair. When your blue just carry on, troubles are only bubbles that fade away. Smile and simply carry on, whether the smile or sorrow can ever stay. Even in the darkest hours, remember that night is followed by the dawn. Whenever you feel blue, here's all you've got to do. Carry on, carry on, carry on. Carry On with Jack O'Hagan and that was taken from the soundtrack of the FT film Jack O'Hagan Sings and the two pianists there were Margot Sheridan and Effie Morris at the two pianos. Jack O'Hagan simply had to carry on. His listening public wanted more O'Hagan songs. 
Nevertheless, not all his songs were liked by the public, including this one called Goodbye Darling. Sung by the soothing serenaders, and they being Jack O'Hagan and Bob Molyneux, the song was not a success. Yet listening to it now, one must wonder why. <laughs> Goodbye, My Darling, sung by the Soothing Serenaders, otherwise Jack O'Hagan and Bob Molyneux. And that was recorded in 1932. Jack O'Hagan, as Australia's top songwriter, always rose to the occasion when an important event or Australian personality required a musical tribute. These songs are legendary and clearly show how Jack was so tuned in to what the average Australian was all about. In 1932, the Sydney Harbour Bridge was opened, made more famous by the Premier Jack Lang being upstaged by a Captain de Groot, dressed in full military uniform and mounted on his charger, who proceeded to cut the official opening ribbon with his sword. This remarkable political event, which coincided with many tense political issues and a climate of distrust and bitter accusations, was put into song by Jack. But being so political, the composer was listed as John Quinlan. It was recorded by Quip and Quirk. In real life, Len Morris and Jack Lumsdane. <laughs> We had a dream last night, for such a funny dream. We dreamt about two men we know, and it was just a scream. Now one was Mr. Lang, and I near fell out of bed. The other one was Colonel Campbell, this is what he said. Hello, is that Colonel Campbell? Uh, yes, who's that? Oh, this is Mr. Lang. Oh, Colonel Campbell. Uh, yes, Mr. Lang. Why don't you scramble? Your precious gang, 
They have been a source of worry since we opened up the bridge. And the way they cut that ribbon was a downright sacrilege. But Mr. Lang, you were astute. You prosecuted uh, my friend Groot. Uh, then for doing what he did, uh, why the court fined him five quid. Did that please you, Colonel Campbell? Mm, it was worth it, Mr. Lang. Well, good morning, Mr. Lang. Good morning, Colonel Campbell. Ah, good morning, Judge. How are you? Fine. Five quid. Ooh. Oh, Colonel Campbell. Yes, Mr. Lang. Just see your actions. Don't boomerang. Now, there's a matter in the papers, but it seems that you've been lax. Though I wouldn't hurt your feelings, it concerns your income tax. Now, Mr. Lang, why bring that up? A little quarrel, uh, it's but a pup. And if remarks like that you pull, I'll remind you of your bull. Do you mean that, Colonel Campbell? Absolutely, Mr. Lang. Well, how about a little drink, Colonel? Well, I wouldn't mind a little spot with you. By the way, uh... Are you going to pay for it? Oh, we'll have a couple of bob in on the fruit machine. Two bob on the fruit machine. Well, jolly good luck, Eddie. Jolly good health, old man. <sighs> By Jove. What's that? That has a kick in it. Uh-huh, that's the real Mackay. <gasps> oh, Colonel Campbell. Uh, yes, Mr. Lang. The celebrations went with a bang. And though you sent off a petition, still I opened up the bridge. All your efforts couldn't stop me, for that was my privilege. Now, nah, but Mr. Lang, you surely see. The world is laughing, ah, but not at me. And that ribbon stunt, you see, will go down in history. See you later, Colonel Campbell. At the talkies, Mr. Lang. Colonel Campbell and Mr. Lang sung there by Quip and Quirk, who of course were Len Morris and Jack Lumsdane. And that was recorded on April the 12th, 1932. Another legendary O'Hagan song, this time about Australia's greatest cricketing son, Donald Bradman, was a real hit. If the Poms had their demon fast bowlers like La Harold Larwood to pound the Aussies, then the Aussies had the greatest batsman of all times to properly fix up Harold Larwood and his boys. O'Hagan's Our Don Bradman captured the Australian public's imagination. The combination of Australia's top songwriter writing about Australia's top cricketer is simply delicious and delightful. <laughs> that all Australia raves about Who has won our very highest praise Now is it Amy Johnson or little Mickey Mouse No, it's just a country lad who's bringing down the house And he's our Don Bradman Now I ask you, is he any good? Our Don Bradman as the batsman, he can sure lay on the wood. For when he goes into bat, he knocks every record flat. For there isn't anything he cannot do. Our Don Bradman, every Aussie dips his lid to you. When the boy from Barrel hits four after four Our Don Bradman What a welcome waits for you back home Our Don Bradman 
sung there by Art Leonard, which was the pseudonym for Len Morris. During the 1930s, the Efty Film Studios, under the ownership of one Francis Thring, made several short films about prominent Australians. One was made showing Jack O'Hagan singing several songs. Shot with one static camera, the only movement being displayed by O'Hagan himself and the pianists, the film gives us the opportunity to examine his presentation and style. Here from that film, he introduces a new song by the Big Blue Billabong. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll now introduce to you my latest composition by the Big Blue Billabong. I hope you like it. Strolling along the highway When the day's work is done Then all my troubles fly away With a setting sun For when the night is falling And the twinkling stars appear Lovers are softly calling, and heaven seems so near. Every night when the moon starts to rise, I'm in a regular paradise. When we're swinging along, singing a song by the great big blue billabong. Strolling with somebody by my side Somehow I'm perfectly satisfied When I'm swinging along Singing a song by the great big blue billabong We are planning just to stage a little wedding And soon as funds permit You bet you'll find us heading to a little altar, though at the moment we're short of cash. Money and love never seem to clash when you're swinging along, singing a song by the great big blue billabong. Every night when the moon starts to rise, I'm in a regular paradise when we're swinging along, singing a song by the great big blue billabong. Strolling with somebody right by my side Why, somehow, I'm perfectly satisfied When we're swinging along Singing a song by the great big blue billabong We are planning just to stage a little wedding And soon the funds permit You'll bet you'll find us heading to a little altar, though at the moment we're short of cash. Money and love never seem to clash when we're swinging along, singing a song by the great big blue billabong. By the big blue billabong. And Jack O'Hagan with the duo pianists Essie Morris and Margot Sheridan from the FT film. 1935 was the year Victoria was celebrating 100 years since Batman declared Melbourne was the place for a village. Back in 1835. Encouraged by some officialdom, Jack enthusiastically set about writing a song about his own town. The song is simply a direct promotion for his beloved Melbourne. <laughs> For those depressed to listen a moment And I suggest a method that's bound to banish all those blues Pack up your troubles and let them ride Constantly worry and care aside You've everything to gain and not to lose What is this remedy I hear you ask? 
It's simple as ABC, an easy task. Follow the throng along, make life a happy song. Let's take a trip to Melbourne. There's lots to do and throw. A welcome waits for you. So let's take a trip to Melbourne. Come along and greet the Duke and see the Melbourne Cup And see the air race finish, watch the numbers going up So follow the throng along, make life a happy song Let's take a trip to Melbourne Follow the throng along, make life a happy song Let's take a trip to Melbourne There's lots to do and throw, a welcome waits for you So let's take a trip to Melbourne There'll be sports galore and there's the Grenadiers band So be it, Dick Amorzy, give the cars a hand So follow the song along, make life a happy song Let's take a trip to Melbourne Coming far from foreign lands, so why not you? So follow the song along, make life a happy song. Let's take a trip to Melbourne. Let's take a trip to Melbourne. Clement Q. Williams, recorded in October 1934. By the mid-1930s, Jack O'Hagan was an exceedingly popular and well-known Australian. Music was making a comfortable living for him. He was happily married to his wife Josephine and had two daughters in Pamela and Janine. His marriage lasted 60 years. As an old man, Jack O'Hagan told one inquiring reporter, After the Depression, things were going very well here. I had two daughters growing up and I thought, what the hell? I was earning £3,000 a year anyway and that was a lot of money in those days. During this period of his life, O'Hagan wrote reviews including Vogues of 1935, which included Roy Reen Moe, Rhapsodies of 1935, Tu Paris and Honi Soir. He also wrote musical comedies such as Turn Up and Flame of Desire, the latter he considered his finest score. In England, Jack Hilton and his band performed many O'Hagan songs. Now there are two brand new numbers, just by way of a change. I'm going to sing for your approval. Some of my old time hits. I hope you'll remember some of them. We'll try them out right now. Firstly, that old favourite, In Dreamy Araby. In Dreamy Araby. In Dreamy Araby and After the Dawn, and Jack O'Hagan from the soundtrack of the FT film.
From 1932 to 1944, Jack O'Hagan was a staff member at radio station 3AW. Before and after the war, he hosted a radio program combining live studio performances and entertainment with the Test Cricket from England. As there was no direct link to cricket, a pseudo description was given after receiving many cables from England. Whilst at 3AW, O'Hagan compared and commenced an amateur hour. During the 40s, he was the first composer, director of the Australian Performing Rights Association, an, an organisation designed to help and protect the creative efforts of Australians like Jack O'Hagan. With Australia's entry into the Second World War, the man that had been writing popular songs of a most topical nature for 20 years found his talents were still required. As the Yanks arrived in Australia in 1942, O'Hagan was moved to write a song which belongs to the Gundagai group of songs. Apparently diggers overseas were moved by the song, but in such a way as to cause concern and wonder what in the world was happening with the Aussie girls and the big spending Yanks. Chance in a quiet little street These two lonesome souls happen to me When a boy from Alabama Meets a girl from Gundagai Winter turns into spring And the birds start to sing A sweet lullaby the boy from Alabama tells the girl from Gundagai that believe it or not, he sure likes her a lot, a silver lining in the sky. Pretty soon they're strolling out together, a new day has begun. Life is just a bunch of sunny weather, and troubles like bubbles go one by one. When a boy from Alabama meets a girl from Gundagai, all the world is in tune, and a sweet honeymoon will happen in the by and by. When a boy from Alabama meets a girl from Gundagai, the storm clouds disappear, instead a rainbow's in the sky. When a boy from Alabama tells the girl, say you're a honey, then the dinkamazi girl, he doesn't care, he's got no money. He phones her in the morning and makes a special date. She hurries home from work that night to see him, she can't wait. He looks like Robert Taylor, she loves his manly walk. She reckons she could sit for hours and listen to him talk. Pretty soon they're strolling out together, a new day has begun. Life is just a bunch of sunny weather, and troubles like bubbles go one by one. When a boy from Alabama meets a girl from Gundagai, all the world is in tune, and a sweet honeymoon will happen in the bar. When a Boy from Alabama Meets a Girl from Gundagai Recorded by Joy Nichols on June the 4th, 1942 During the Second World War, Jack O'Hagan wrote songs for the war effort including one for a war loan. This was recorded by the Parker Sisters, a popular group. In 1943, with Australia feeling very cut off from the world and the Japanese Imperial Army at our northern doorstep, 
The song Little Ships Will Sail Again must have been comforting in its message. O'Hagan may well have been inspired by Britain's little ships that had evacuated Dunkirk. Little ships are sailing o'er the seven seas Sailing sometimes never to return Sailor men are sailing through adversities While their loved ones wait at home and yearn But a silver lining soon will come and then Peace will reign with us once again Little ships will sail again Over the distant horizon Little ships will sail again And bring their sailor men ashore Little ships will sail again When the red sun is arising Sailor men will sail again As in those dear old times of yore Then when the day is ending From out of the distant blue Sailing boats will come wending To the harbor where dreams all come true Soon the sun will shine and then over the distant horizon Sailor men will sail again Back to their dearest ones once more come true soon the sun will shine and then over the distant horizon sailor men will sail again back to their dearest ones once more little ships will sail again recorded by Barbara James in 1943. When the war ended, all Australians, including Jack O'Hagan, could turn their attention to other matters. One of the popular, relaxing, idealised themes, as seen in many American films, as well as Bing Crosby and Dorothy L'Amour songs, was the lure, the beauty and the relaxation that anything Hawaiian offered. Jack O'Hagan made his contribution. Sweet Hawaiian Sands.
I'm very mighty soon Need the hula moon I'll be listening to a ukulele lady crew Way down on the sweet Hawaiian sand There I'll see my prize Roll her big brown eyes Making me just feel that I've arrived in paradise Way down on the sweet Hawaiian sands And maybe while she croons a little love song I'll enfold her She'll rest her head, her pretty head Upon my shoulder And let me tell you while I'm neath the swaying palms Nestled in her arms I will dream and drink of all her loving little charms Way down on those sweet Hawaiian sands And sweet Hawaiian sands, Johnny Wade and his Hawaiians recorded in 1946. As Australia approached the 1952 Olympic Games in Helsinki, Finland, one of Australia's greatest hopes lay with Lithgow's Marjorie Jackson. She didn't let down her fans, and her performance was stunning. So fast did she run that she became known as the Lithgow Flash. Here is Jack O'Hagan's tribute to Marjorie Jackson, the Lithgow Flash. In the sunny town of Lithgow, in the state of New South Wales, a shy and modest, unassuming girl has put the town of Lithgow on the map and never She's Marjorie, the little flyer, a Marjorie, is she a trier, the fastest thing in running at the Olympic Games. The brilliant queens have won her all the world's acclaim. Our Marjorie, as modest as they make them, a Marjorie, but records can she break them. The Lipka flash is through the smash and champion through and through. And Marjorie, we're telling you. Every day come out is proud of you. Jim Gussie and his orchestra, and the vocal there by Alan Code, recorded in 1952. As the face of popular music changed in the 60s, 
Jack's melodies seemed out of place. He turned his attention to producing singing commercials for radio and television. He remained a cheerful and a happy character, quite often seen smoking his cigar, having a walk, playing his favourite golf, having a drink or attending the horse racing. In 1967 he broke his hip and after an operation he was unable to resume his normal active life activities. But Jack O'Hagan was a tough fellow. In 1974 he was awarded the MBE. The Jack O'Hagan Australians all love is the man who could tap the real Aussie soul. The man who could write a dinky die song which invariably describes the Aussie qualities of mateship. If Banjo Patterson and Henry Lawson expressed the real Australia in verse, then Jack O'Hagan set the real Australia to music. In 1987, Jack O'Hagan died at the ripe old age of 88. Dear Jack, can you imagine an Australia without a O'Hagan song? Of course you can't. Australia is a much richer land because of the life and the works of Jack O'Hagan. Now, the inevitable Gundagai. There's a track winding back to an old-fashioned shack along the road to Gundagai, where the blue guns are growing and the maroon bench is flowing beneath that sunny My childhood once more I will see Then no more will I roam When I'm heading right for home Along the road to Gondorga And the road to Gundagai, Jack O'Hagan, recorded in the 1930s by FD Films. The Road to Gundagai was written, produced and presented by John Hutchinson and Ken Burness of Eastern Community Broadcasters for the nostalgia program, The Melody Lingers On. We hope you've enjoyed the program. In the compilation and research for this program, we have received the splendid cooperation and support of Bill and Janine Gray, Frank Van Stratton of the Performing Arts Museum, Denzel Housen, Stan Michaels, Ellen Vogt and Graham Wilson. We thank them very much indeed. <laughs>